and we are back with some more MLB 9 innings today. We're going to be doing a little bit of finishing up training on Babe Ruth, some skill changes on our SIG um, Lucas Sims, because he still does not have a set, if you guys remember back a few weeks ago when we worked on him. Then also after that, we got a big pack opening again today. We got 71 silver player packs, 100 premium packs, and then we'll do the random ones we have that really aren't worth it, but I mean, we'll open them up anyways. Then we got like 30 ultimate packs, ultimate team select pack, then we have 22 premium vintage packs and a diamond vintage pack today. And now let's go ahead and work on Babe Ruth. Okay, there. So now he has his diamond skills because we special trained him to level 10. So he's level 28. This is what we finished off at, guys. And now we got to come to a consensus right now. How do we want to finish this train? Are we going four power two contact? Are we going four power two eye? Um, we can't go five power because I don't have a plus three. Um, or we could wait to do that, but I kind of just want to finish them. What are you guys thinking? Let's come to a consensus right here. What do you guys what do you guys think we finish this off with? We have amp tickets to be able to do four power, two contact, four power, two eye, or any other combination besides going all power. I think we should honestly. We could go one for one. Let's go let's go one for one, guys. Cause that would put contact at 22, I at 21, contact would still get the bonus. We can still put one of each up and then we could go four power. Or I'm thinking we either go two contact or four two and four power or one for one. Cause I don't want, I don't want to bring contact down that low. I think we should still keep it at two. Cause that is with the special training all the way up. I don't know if you guys noticed that at the start. Sorry that we sit sat there and thought about that for that long. Now I'm seeing lots of one for ones. That's what I'm thinking now. I'm seeing two fours, but now I'm seeing the one for ones. It doesn't really make a huge difference. One point, once you get up that past 140, I mean, the one point won't make a huge difference, but one for one, yeah, it doesn't make a difference, honestly. Yeah, I'm thinking one for one. All six fields, say, now we're talking. Okay, let's go one for one. We'll settle on one for one, guys. We can do that. Um, let's go with the power eye one first. We have five of those, like I said. Let's do that. That works, so that'll switch it, watch, I think for now. See how that switches it? So now we're 134 instead of what, 140? But if we go one contact, two power, then we'll be back up. So let's get them both 140 plus. How does that sound, guys? I think that works, I think that works. Um, Where's that at? Contact is somewhere down here. There's a, yeah, there it is. All right, so this will put it at 140 plus. 312, I kind of wanted to get power to 160 though, H-Town. That was my thought process on that. There was multiple ways we could have gone about it. Jeff, how's it going? But that's what we're gonna finish off at, guys. That'll work. That's both 140 plus. We got power to 160, and this card's actually pretty nice in um, in arcade mode. All right, let's go ahead and work on Lucas Sims. We got 123 skill change tickets. This is the current set we have. So we have the setup man, fixer, and last boss. It's not a 333 set, guys. Thing is, is that's with fixer, that's more middle reliever set. So that's why we were gonna keep rolling. I don't want a signature card, one of the rare relief pitcher SIGs that the Reds have because they don't have many players that have it in the lineup. We were trying to get a fire set for him to be a setup guy or even just in the in the closing spot. So that's why we're gonna keep going. We're gonna roll on his second skill storage slot. This is not a bad slot at all. This would be great as a middle reliever, but I don't wanna keep him there. So we have some skill change tickets. He's the only other SIG we need to work on right now besides Castellanos, um, no, not Castellanos. I think Sonny Gray in his backup slot. I mean, he still does okay. So let's go ahead and start this. Have you opened any packs? No, we will be opening packs though. And we started with the triple chocolate. That is what I'm talking about. I didn't even get to say, where, when are we gonna get a triple chocolate? And it gave it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Triple chocolate to start the day. It's gonna be a good day, guys. It's gonna be a good day. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah, we got the Joker out of the way early. 89, okay. Triple chocolate, you love it. You love to see it. Is that a 3-3-3 set? Am I seeing? That is a 3-3-3 set with Pitching Machine, the Dominant Pitcher, and Setup Man. Huh. Okay. Okay. Interesting, guys. One thing is, I'm thinking, obviously we can stick with this. We're gonna keep it. I don't even know if we use blues or greens. 
I mean, I get it. <sighs> pitching machine is more of a third setup, man. I know it's only one gold skill, but pitching machine's a solid third. <sighs> yeah, it's a three to three. I don't know what I want to do with that. Obviously, we're going to stick with this for a while. Do I ever come back and use blues on pitching machine, though, with it being a three through three? That's my only question, guys. What are we thinking? Obviously, I'm not touching this. We're done with this skill session chain on at least skill session on Sims. I did not expect it to go that fast. It literally how many skill change tickets did we use? Four? Would we have like 121 or five? We do have the diamond pitcher train. We do, don't we? Yeah, we do. 7-2 gives you 16 plus. It actually gives me more than that. It doesn't matter which one we go. What's your mentor gonna be? Batter or pitcher? I think batter. I think I went batter my main. I feel like it can go either way. What do you think, H Town? What do you think we should go with? That's like advice. That's like advice. So let's go, um, let's go seven. Let's go seven V low two location. That's the most of what I've seen. Can we do that? Do we have two V low? location we do we can do it we can do it let's do it okay we'll go three below to starts we'll go set we'll go two seven guys we'll give you two seven below two location one we'll do we'll do two seven you guys pretty much voted on it so all right let's go let's do that make a love for two seven you guys are on two seven right now all right he's done He's officially done and we can special train now too. Let's go, let's go. That's perfect, because now we're opening packs too and we can use it. So that should be uh, that should be fine. It's only 14 right now, but once we get special train to eight, it'll be 16 plus and I believe it'll be 18, I wanna say, once we black diamond them. So yes, yes, we'll be able to finish this off hopefully today, if not next week, so. 100 of these Freeman packs. See some diamonds and some um, some purple, please. Diamond off the bat, let's go. Let's go. It's only one, but one's better than none. Um, Decent card right there, eyes a little bit lower. I have to get some better skills on that. But okay, okay. Take the diamond, special training material. Pull two prime judges today from pack and one from combo. I pulled literally five between this account and my Dodger account. Pulled three on my main account with a diamond one and two on this account. I pulled so many 17 judges. I feel bad for Yankees decks that watch me. <laughs> yeah, David, I wasn't even paying attention. I have to look back at that. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's see, Blake. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Blake 21. They're trolling me. I need that as a diamond on my reds on my Dodgers account. I forgot that. Yes, a location was 18. I forgot about that. Because if we want 1-8, then it would have been the other story. You guys are correct. All right. Trout 12. Yes, you are correct on that. <clears throat> All right. Keep going on this. All right. We have not seen a diamond since, have we, guys? Gosh, man. Don't care unless you pull a goose for real, z -Bakes. For real. All right, so we can't get any more diamonds. Still have not seen any purple. Just that type of day. I guess we're saving all the luck for the vintage packs, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Hashtag Altuve. I'll take a Prime Altuve. Just give me a Prime at this point. We're just another diamond. I need I need some special train stuff, guys. Where's the purple? I don't know. AKs, you take all of it. You take all of it, bro. All right, there's another diamond at least. Got some more blue, some more special train. There's another Vado. You gotta love it. Corbin. Pretty good card right here. Not gonna lie. Here's our daily Vado. Last 10. Last chance for a purple today. We only got two diamonds. All silvers to end it off. No primes through 100 premium packs and 72 silver player packs. And we got a Bregman right there. Gotta love it. Finishing off with an Astros. Uh, you know what? I accidentally used the last five. I, I accidentally clicked that. Oh well. That's not gonna kill anything. So we finished off with 15 silvers. Okay. All right. All right, we had just enough right there. Let's go ahead and special train literally all these guys away. All right, so let's go ahead and do these live season ultimate player packs, and then we'll do the 30 normal ones and the ultimate team select. Let's go. These are pointless. I'll take a diamond, though, but it's pointless. What are Sims 
pitch tiers. We'll have to look at that, Enrique. That's a look. All right, so we have two diamonds in the last season packs, which kind of makes me mad because they're pointless to me, pretty much. Good, but gold, okay. Wish this was a diamond, but it, it do be like that, I guess. All right, 30 ultimate player packs. I'm gonna say we get five diamonds. What's your guys' guess? I'm going to hashtag five diamonds from 30 ultimate player, uh, player packs. Let's do it. And the slash two, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, we got a diamond. That's a good sign. How many did we get? We got two. So two through ten. We got twenty more left. We're on pet. We're on pace. A little bit ahead of pace. Um, not his best year, and not a great card. In triple chocolate. Love to see it. Jambi, this card's fire. But he's a, he's a, cool. So, All right. There goes the luck. They weren't good cards though. It's just special train material. Holy cow! We just pulled four diamonds through 10 ultimate player packs? I don't think I've ever done that. I think the most I've ever gotten through 10 ultimate player packs is three diamonds. We just pulled four right there. So we're at six through 20. A crit, okay, I like the luck, but no, let's dial it back a little bit. We still have the premium vintage come to and the diamond vintage pack. Let's let's save some for the, for the legend. Just don't make these really good cards. This is a good special train, but wow. Four? Ray, that's a fire card. Okay, kind of get nervous. That's not a great card. Not a great card. And we got Dodger Barnes. So only good card right there is Ray, but man, we gotta chill out. I guess they want us some get to get some special train material. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Any in the last 10? All right, so we're at least at seven. We got seven diamonds through 30 ultimate player packs. Okay, okay. Be the Red Sox fan, how's it going as well? AKs did that yesterday. I know AKs has done it. I'm saying me personally, I've not done that before. I've never seen myself get four from 10. I've seen AKs actually do that multiple times, I believe. All right, so we pulled two Dodger Diamonds in the past 20 Ultimate Player Packs. At least they were both not great cards. I don't feel as bad pulling Santana. He's not great, and Barnes I would never be any use. So they're Diamond, they're Dodger Diamonds, but they're not useful, so I, there's no pain right there. No pain. All right, last one. Watch, we pull all those Diamonds, and this is going to be a gold. The team selected one's going to be a gold. I know how it works. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you guys, we, we get all those diamonds, Iglesias, I guess we could hold on to you for when we eventually get your SIG, I'm pretty sure we could get, contradicts, winning streak and fix they contradict, so I don't feel jealous of that. All right, here we go guys, here we go. All right guys, here we go, 22 premium vintage packs, we've never pulled a legend from anything but a legend pack. I haven't done it from a combo either. We're not gonna combo today, but can we get one here, please? First 10, I'll just take a diamond vintage too. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. All right, so we got some golds in there. All right, first 10. Can we get this over with and get the legend right off the bat and stop making me wait for the pain that's probably gonna happen, so. Nolan Ryan would be sick. I'd take Ozzy Smith too. That'll be my batter's chem card. I'll take it. I'd take a bullpen guy too. I wouldn't mind getting pitchers cam on a bullpen guy or just using them with a solid set in the bullpen either. Let's go. Pull another Freeman. Well, we can't now. We can't pull another one, thankfully. Because he's not a vintage card, so. All right, first 10, here we go. Three, two, one, legend on the first 10. Nope, nope. We did get a Reds vintage. That's cool. I've never pulled one from a pack, guys, besides the Legend Pack on both accounts. Not in a chance pack. All right, next, next 10. No diamonds there. All silvers but one. This is, this is for 20 right here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and press it. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting, let's go. It's literally impossible to pull a Legend for me. From a pack. It can only be combos or legend pack. Got a park. That day is just, I feel like it's never gonna come. All right, last two. Last two. We've definitely opened over. We've definitely gotten close to 100 vintage packs on this account with nothing. See that one. Wilson, okay. And just trying to mix it up. Nothing. So 22 premium vintage packs. It takes forever to save those up and just nothing still. That's how rare legends are, guys. So when you pull one and you think it's common, just remember guys, it's not common to pull legends, even in vintage packs. 
It's it's rare. Come on. Ugh. All right, guys, we got one more pack, the Diamond Vintage pack. That's it. Last one. I'm, I'm just thinking we're not gonna get anything here today, guys. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hashtag Dibble. I actually would be cool with Dibble. You know what, Jake Calloway, you're thinking ahead. You know what, this needs to be either a legend or George Foster or Dibble. Because Dibble and George Foster are both red uh, vintage SIGs that are possibly who we could use a SIG change ticket on. So you know what, Jay, you brought that up. Either a Diamond Legend or Dibble or George Foster. Because those are both reds and those are both my top guys in terms of GIs. Let's go. All right. No look strat, last pack of the day, three, two, one. Doesn't need to be a legend if it's George Foster or Dibble. So if it's a legend that's sick, please just be Dibble or George Foster. And it's Parrish, okay. I'm just gonna go cry. I, I despise opening these vintage packs because legends are literally impossible for me to get. So, all right, let's do this thing, here we go. Last one, we'll do a one diamond vintage combo. And let's see, please just be George Foster, Dibble, or a legend. That that would be sick. I would love, if it was Dibble or George Foster, I literally would probably do the sick change ticket next week on that guy. Don't want to use a GI or anything. Really not any use, yeah. All right, last one, three, two, one. We're not gonna do a look chat. 